Hey my little shamrocks and welcome back to my YouTube channel. Today we are in my kitchen with a different setup. Today we are actually going to be making a recipe out of one of my favorite baking books. The Nordic Baking Book by Magnus Nielsen. Nielsen. I don't speak Swedish, so I don't know. Making the cardamom. We are going to be making the cardamom buns. I've made them before. They, I wouldn't say are complicated to make, but they're not easy to make. But they're somewhere in between. If you have a basic understanding of dough and how dough works, you should be able to make these. Let's get started. Yeah, the, the only problem that I had the last time that I made these was how to shape them. And I had to watch a couple videos and I'll probably have to watch those videos again because when I read it and tried to do it, it didn't make sense. When I watched the video and then read it, it did make sense. So um, you need a sweet wheat bun dough. There's three different ones to choose from from the book and I'm using the basic one. That's what I used last time. On the stove over here, I have my milk and butter mixture going. So heating up a stick of butter plus two and a half tablespoons and two cups of milk plus two tablespoons of milk to 98.6 degrees Fahrenheit. Melt that down and then you're going to want the mixture to cool to 98.6 degrees Fahrenheit. Otherwise you're going to kill the yeast in it. While that's cooling down in my mixing bowl, I'm going to get the other ingredients ready for my dough. We're going to need half a cup of sugar, one teaspoon of salt, 15 grams or about three and a half teaspoons of dry yeast and five and three quarters cup of strong wheat flour. I don't actually know if this is strong wheat flour, but this was the only wheat flour that I could find because of the coronavirus. I'm going to get my dough hook out ready to go. Okay, so now that our milk and butter mixture is cooled down to the temp that we want, we're going to dissolve our yeast into it. Give it a nice little swirl. Now we're going to add our sugar. And our salt. Slowly add the I'm going to slowly add the five and three quarters cups of flour. So I'm going to start by doing one cup
so now that we have our dough done, we are going to boil up a bowl to let it rise. Look at that. Now, when I let dough rise, I usually put the oven on to the lowest setting that it will go. So mine, I go between 200 and warm on mine. And then I just crack the door open and put the bowl right in front of the open door so that it helps the heat rise the yeast. And dough is rising I'm going to make the filling that's going to go inside them um, the recipe calls for one stick and two and a half tablespoons of butter last time I made it though that wasn't quite enough but I also really like a lot of filling so I'm going to use about two sticks of butter at room temperature We're also going to do one cup of sugar. And one tablespoon of finely ground cardamom seeds. But I'm just using already ground cardamom. And I'm just going to guesstimate on this.
did I? So we have our dough here, which has really doubled in size. So I'm going to lightly flour this So this says to knead it for one minute. And then we're going to cut her in half. <clears throat> we'll set half of it aside for now. So with this side, We're going to roll her out into a rectangular shape. Now that I have a fairly rectangular shape about the size of a baking sheet, half of it,
And then I'm going to fold it over on itself, give her a nice squish down. I'm going to square this up a little bit. All right, so. This recipe says it takes, makes 30 buns, so I need to get 15-ish out of this. So, I'm just going to guesstimate. Cut them like pants. Go up just far enough that it's basically got two legs. Put your thumb here, pull it over your two fingers and tuck the ends underneath. This is just some corn syrup and sugar mixed together. And then this is just some sugar and some cardamom mixed together. Put that baby on top. Sweet. It's so dark, you can't see it. That's probably for the better. I like your hair. Oh, thank you. <laughs> Olivia just woke up. Aww. I need pretzels. Oh, the pretzels are ready. Am I, am I supposed to take it? Yeah, from my YouTube channel. Oh. I'm excited to learn how to make I need to eat one? Yeah, if you want. Yeah, I do. That's good. Yeah. Mm-hmm. This is my 
sous chef here to make sure that I'm doing a proper job. Right, Frank? 